This is Edge of War. All through the election campaigns, Hitler and the Nazis are basically creating um, unrest in the streets. They are creating street disturbances. They are causing lots of trouble. However, all along, Hitler is saying he actually wants to create or bring back order to Germany. So in a sense, what the Nazis are doing is they're creating disorder so that they can later claim to be Germany's saviors. It is a task that long qualified the leader of the steel Hitler played upon the emotions of a dispirited German population, epitomizing the idea that he alone could regain German greatness. His ability as a speaker was such that even his most violent critics realized his ability to mesmerize a crowd with his rhetoric. His promises to the German people and his strong arm tactics pay off. The Nazi party wins over 30% of the vote, and Hitler is appointed chancellor. A taste of power, but not enough for a man planning to rewrite history. A month later, a mysterious fire damages the German parliament building. Hitler claims the blaze is part of a communist plot to take over the country. He turns the crisis to his political advantage suspending civil liberties and throwing his enemies behind bars. Many believe Hitler and the Nazis are behind the fire. If true, it's a cunning act of deception and sabotage, a false flag operation, impersonating the very enemy you want to attack, a tactic Hitler now knows works. In the aftermath, Hitler takes complete dictatorial control, swelling the army fivefold he orders thousands of new tanks, armored vehicles, and planes be built. The investment in the military created jobs, rebuilt a lot of infrastructure. It restored German people's faith in the government. On the back of that, a lot of the foreign policy gains that they were able to make flexing that military muscle uh, gave the people faith in Hitler. In public, Hitler speaks of restoring German pride and the right of a superior people to rule over the masses. Hitler also speaks of Lebensraum, or living space for Germany to grow. Behind closed doors, his military commanders learn the true danger and vicious intent of these words. His ambitions go far beyond land Germany lost in the war. He wants all of Eastern Europe and he is impatient to the point of risking the start of another world war. 